Welcome back to RCR Wireless News. We are here at HetNet Expo with Michael Shoemate. He is a VP in the DCCS group at Comscope. That's Comscope's DAS group. Michael, thanks for making the time. Thank you, Barbara. So your IONE product has been trialing with carriers here in the U.S. recently. Can you give us a quick update on how that's going? Yes, we uh, announced the launch of the IONE product line uh, in September at CTIA for North America, and we're currently working with all the major operators on the trials. So we'll have more updates later in the year, but they're going very well. Okay, great. And in the DAS market, are you seeing more neutral host, or is it still a good mix between carrier DAS and neutral host? We're see, still seeing a mix, but what we tend to see is even if it's carrier-led, it, you have to be prepared for neutral hosts. So you may have a carrier-led project, but the solution has to support neutral hosts. So we still see a good mix, but I, the, the point should be made that your solution has to scale for the future. Okay, great. And I know that, that you deploy in a lot of the, the large venues nationwide. Can you talk about any trends you're seeing there, a lot of LTE upgrades or any other trends that you're seeing in the large venues? Well, absolutely. You know, doing this for a number of years, we've actually had to touch quite a few of these venues several times where, you know, when the, the next technology comes out for LTE, you go back in and, and you're able to upgrade. So, yeah, that's, that's been a, a good trend for us and a good trend for the industry overall. And then what about outdoor DAS? Are you seeing a lot of interest there? Absolutely, absolutely. It's one of our strongest positions. It's uh, We probably got you know 20,000 plus uh, outdoor DAS nodes of Comscope deployed throughout the U.S. Uh, you know, in the past uh, 10 years, we've had good success either direct or through large integrators that play in that space. And we have a lot of solutions that uh, you know fit that market very well. Okay, great. And, and getting back to the indoor for a minute, are there any verticals that are particularly strong right now? Healthcare, education, anything that stands I, I, out? I think healthcare is is always strong. Uh, we have specific groups, you know, going after that space, and we're seeing a lot more in hospitals and in the banking industry. So uh, everyone seems to want, you know, uh, this coverage of aspects of what we do, and uh, you know, obviously it helps grow the industry. Right. Now, what about any innovative business solutions or any of these venue owners stepping up to help with the cost of a DAS? Some of them are, but that's going to be an evolution in the process uh, to get away from the carrier-led DAS to, to more of uh, seeing it as a, a, a utility, if you will. Okay, and, and let's talk a little bit about hiring um, trends that or skill sets that you look for on a resume. I know that a lot of engineers are interested in getting into distributed antenna systems. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, RF design experience is a must for us. Uh, good design engineers are hard to find in the industry. And so that's what we always look for is people who have been in the industry for a while or someone that, you know, has that basic background. Hopefully, in a lot of instances, we can train them, but it's always good to have that basic background. So what are some of the, the specific um, backgrounds or are trainings that are important for engineers? Uh, high B-Wave? I, obviously, high B-Wave, uh, you know, propagation studies, and, and, you know, field experience is always a must. But, the, you know, being able to do the high B-Wave designs is, is really being certified is, is a must these days in the industry. Okay, Michael Shoemake, Comscope, thank you very much. Thank you. Seems good?